painting. Now, I guess we've seen over the years the evolution of the shift. Guys with the cards, where am I playing? What's the positioning? Am I moving from third over to second? That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is two guys on each side of second base got to have the feet on the dirt when the pitcher's on the mound. How do you think drastically that's going to change things? I think it's going to help a lot of lefty power hitters. I mean, we've seen, like, Mark Teixeira used to be a 300 hitter, and then the shift came into play, and he dropped about 50 points. He was not the same average hitter as he used to be. He tried to hit the ball over the shift. We saw that with Joey Gallo. We've seen Anthony Rizzo lose uh, a lot of points on his batting average as well. He's not a 220 hitter. He never was, but this takes it away. Here's my one worry, though, Bob. I think that teams are going to figure this out, and we saw a lot of it toward the end of the year. They're going to play with two outfielders, and they're going to put a third outfielder in short right field. So it's going to have the same effect. Maybe they'll legislate against that right. during the season. Another thing I don't like, there was talk about maybe having like a pie slice around second base because the, I, I think the, the, the most hits get taken away by the infielder that's up the middle. Yes, absolutely. I mean, just watching it on yep. TV, you're watching him on TV, a hard ground ball up the middle was a single all yep. the time when we grew up. Now all of a sudden the camera pulls out and there's an infielder there. There's still going to be an infielder there. He he might be an inch over toward the, the side that he's supposed to be on, but you're not going to stop the shift in that way. So I hope that it evolves and they may make it a pie chart so that up the middle is open. It does feel like it's going to be changing over the course of the yep. next